You clicked on this video because you want to know about Cochrane. Well, today we are going to talk about Cochrane. The pros, the cons, the good and the bad. And you know what? Some of the best things about Cochrane are actually what are in Cochrane, like McKay's ice cream. Am I right? Well, if you're looking for a sign to move to Cochrane, this might be it. So with some street names like Cowboy Trail and those kind of things, you can probably start thinking that, hmm, maybe Cochrane isn't for me because I ain't a cowboy or a cowgirl for those cowgirls out there. But the reality is Cochrane actually has a lot to offer from starter homes, townhouses, new builds, older, more developed areas, and even properties like this up in Montera. And so you have a lot of options when it comes to finding some perfect and actually exquisite properties out in Cochrane. So for those of you that are considering buying from out of province, I wanna give a little bit of perspective on what Cochrane is to Calgary as what you might see out in Ontario. So if you are from GTA, you might understand properties located in cities or towns like Georgetown, Acton, Milton, Campbellville. These areas are kind of more like what you're gonna find in Cochrane. Cochrane is a city, a town of about 35,000 people, and it's only 30 minutes from downtown Calgary. So you have to understand that getting here and living out here is like small, small town, and maybe for you, moving to Calgary is like small town. So the first pro on our list today is small town community. I mean, you can't get away from it when you're out in Cochrane. And that's actually weird to say because you're trying to get away from it to be in a small town community, but whatever. So, but it, that's really what it is. It's a small town community, small town feel where you know your neighbors and, and you just have that here. And I think that's something that a lot of people are really looking for. And the population is growing. It's growing quite quickly, actually. And if you take a look, like around here in Montero, there's a lot of building happening. If you go the other side of Cochrane, over by Fireside, Riverside, all those new developments that are there, there's a lot of new developments happening in and around of Cochrane, but it's not losing the amazing small town feel that it has. Cochrane is known for McKay's ice cream. I already said this, and it's right over here. What a fantastic little place. Now, downtown Cochrane is growing. Things are happening. It is so busy. Right now, it's like two o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon, sunny, and there's tons of people out here. And what's really cool is Cochrane is actually one of the fastest growing, the fourth fastest growing municipality in Alberta. And so a lot of things are happening here, and this is one of the reasons why we love it. So you might be so far in the video right now that you're going, where in the world is Cochrane? Well, Cochrane is west of Calgary, and on the drive out here, doesn't matter if you come from the south end or the north end, uh, it is gorgeous. Like, you see the mountains the whole way. Like, it is truly a picturesque view when you're driving here. And it's nestled in this valley uh, right by the Bow River. And from Cochrane, you can get out to Banff, to the mountains in roughly about an hour. And so if outdoor activities is something that you love, well, this is a place you definitely wanna live because you have so many options, so many opportunities to get outside and enjoy mother nature. Another amazing thing about Cochrane is the shopping. As you can see, there's some incredible local stores down here downtown. Uh, but not only that, the area has exploded with a lot of big box things like that where you actually really never need to leave Cochrane to make it, you know, buy on whatever you need on your daily needs. And the other thing that's amazing is the safety here. So Cochrane is actually the 25th 
safest community in all of Canada, which is pretty incredible considering how many little cities there are in Canada. So if you're looking for a safe place that you can shop, you can eat a lot of ice cream, this might be it for you. So homes in Cochrane, one of the great things about them is they're affordable. So you're not totally paying out the wazoo for homes in Cochrane to live in a community like this. And you're not necessarily like, it's not bottom of the barrel either. I mean, right here, these are homes right on this side that are backing onto the river. Uh, these houses over here are probably in their 600s. You can find new build stuff um, anywhere from three to, again, over a million uh, dollars, right? So there's a wide range of different types, different styles. And over the last couple weeks, to be honest, we're shooting this before the end of October. So over the last couple of weeks in October here in 2022, the average price uh, that sold is very similar to Calgary, both in the low 500 thousands. So there's a lot to love about Cochrane. If you want that small feel, that small community, but amazing location for you to get out and explore, this might be a great opportunity for you to look into a place like this. One thing that I have to say is a con in Cochrane, because there are truly so many pros, is the traffic. I mean, you have this intersection and it's a nice big four way through here. Tons of cars come through here and then you head into downtown. And as you head up this road and as you zoom up the hill, the amount of traffic that happens to come through here is crazy. Now I've heard, and I don't know if it's true, but I have heard that the town of Cochrane has decided to not name itself a city because they want to stay a town, which is fair, but they're losing out on possible revenue. Now I've heard this, I haven't verified it. I'm on YouTube, this is a YouTube video. This isn't like history 101. I don't know that for sure, so don't quote me. If anyone does know, please put it in the comments because I am interested in that. But that's what's happening. And so I feel like traffic has gotten bad here in Cochrane, which kind of makes it a little bit frustrating. So when you're coming from the northwest side of Calgary, and when you come down the hill, as you can see right now, it's just really, really congested. So a few other things that aren't so great about Cochrane, because there are truly so many, is the nightlife. I mean, Cochrane kind of shuts down, whoa. <laughs> Cochrane kind of shuts down at night and it's kind of a quiet town. Sunday afternoons are a little bit slower, all that kind of stuff. So if you want that type of lifestyle, you're looking for that, you have to head into Calgary. The other thing is employment. Now, I don't know how many people, but I do know that uh, jobs working in Cochrane are a little bit limited. And there's a lot of people that travel to Calgary for work. But again, this can you can live here and drive to Calgary. So it's maybe 30 minutes, maybe during rush hour, you might get up to 40, 45, 50 minutes with bad snow days or something like that. But that's kind of a con. So you might have to be traveling for your work. As you can see, there is so much to love about Cochrane. And so if you're considering moving here, living by the river, like hello, you may want to check out this video here. This video is all about Cochrane, more details, more information. <laughs> so go check it out.